you know what the fuck it is, man? It's, this is literally the best platform in the whole UK, man. I said it. I done said it. No. I shouldn't even be swearing it at the start of the video, but it. you got the one and only C1, also known as Y Skits. And he was part of one of the man them that ran it up into random houses with Mizzy. Um, so firstly, tell us about yourself. Who are you for people who don't know? And why, why, why is your name Y Skits to you? Yeah, cool. So honestly, people know me as C1. The reason I'm called Y Skits, car. When I first met Skits, like properly, like I chose the Skits, he was like, you have potential still, I can see that you're gonna blow. So I was just, look, I was basically looking up to Skits in this TikTok thing. Mm. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be right. He was like, you're white Skits, if you wanna be. I was like, yeah, I'm white Skits. Mm -hmm. So what, how did these men and that become friends and that? Like, how did From that Missy, Missy introduced me to Skits. Okay, okay, so, so how do you know Missy? How do you? It's actually mad. I used to be a fan of him like a year ago. What's this, sir? I was actually a mad fan of him. Then I just see him walking through Dorsten Market. I was like, I swear you're Missy. Got my snap, took a TikTok of him. Then I was like, bro, I've, I've seen your videos, G. I'm on what you're on. Then we linked up the week after. Then, yeah, we made some videos. So how old are you for people who don't know? How old are you? I'm 16, but if the girls ask, I'm 19. <laughs> <They're deep. laughs> <laughs> what was the upbringing like? like how, upbringing. Yeah, that. Like, how was it growing up? What area are you from? How was it just growing up as a? So it's teenager? I'm from Hackney, innit? Mm. So growing up, it was just like when I was younger, I used to be scared, innit? Cause mm. I see people getting chased out with knives and that. So I was thinking, right, this is mad. But as I started getting older, it just became part of life. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Man. Oh yeah, I got. I used to go to school, yeah. But I basically got kicked out of school. Wow. That's when I jumped on this TikTok thing. What, so then you go to college or that? No, I didn't have pre-apprenticeship. Well, see, that's hard still. That's going to keep that up still. But, you know, Hannah, you must get to get onto the question about what everyone's talking about, bro. Why the fuck are you going to that house, man? Like, what's that about? Like, why do you guys think, yeah, this is a good idea? Let's run up into this random family's ass. You get it? Bro, I quite like ask myself that as well, bro. But me and Missy, we was recording knocking doors and not running, which is out now. We was watching, we was doing that. Then my boy must have seen a door just open whilst he was sitting down. And then he nudged me, he's like, C1, look, look over there. So I looked, I was like, Missy, what are you on, bro? I got a mad TikTok right now. And then I told him about walking into a the house, then, yeah, we just walked in the house. But I don't think Missy was actually going to do it. Okay. So. Fair enough. So that's why you did it, but like, because would you th would you have accepted the consequences if James was like was like was on smoke and he maybe started knocking guys out? Like, would you have like took it in, or if he grabbed something like? Because you gotta be careful sometimes. Yeah, you don't know who's behind that door. What they some people got certain business going on behind them doors. So like, would yeah. you have accepted the consequences of if someone maybe backed out a knife or or some sort of a weapon? If he backed out a weapon, yeah, cool. I wouldn't start fighting back, but that's only because it's his house. Like, he has every right to do what he wants. But if he backed out a knife, I would have tried telling him, look, it was for a TikTok, it was kind of dumb, yeah. But honestly, like, it's for a TikTok. But if he was trying to swing the shank, then I'll have to start fighting him. I'll mm. be real. <laughs> I'll start no, but bro, because remember, you're in his home, bro. Like, he has kids in there. Like, he need, as a man, he has to be protecting his household. You get it? Yeah, no, I hear so that. He had every right to do what he wanted to, but luckily he was a calm guy. Mm. Luckily. Oh, yeah, that's good. So, did you end up apologising and that and going to the house? And Literally, two days after, me and Missy went to the house. But I, I just went, I said, sorry, I let Missy talk, obviously he's older, like, he can, he can talk better. But yeah, she recorded the whole conversation of her saying sorry. But yeah, we said sorry. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, cool. Do you, uh, how do you feel about the backlash? Cause I feel like I can't. I feel like you guys deserve to get dragged, but I feel like some people are taking it a bit too far. I do feel as if that I can't lie. It's a bit overblown. People were doing this type of shit like five years ago. So it's like, but what do you think about that? What do you think about the backlash? I'd be real. I don't care. Like it's not that I don't care, but it's like I didn't walk into their house, so why they so press? I understand if like. For the first two days, the commenters say what you did was wrong, la la la. 
These men are telling man I should get killed. Missy should get killed. We should be locked up for F1, throw away the key. It's just mad. They're trying to say I follow girls home and that. They're just talking bare rubbish. No, but cool. Because I, you kind of led me into my next question. Because obviously there's a video of you on a bus. I don't know what bus it is. But you're shooting enough gun at this random lady. And she's just trying, at night, and she's just trying to get home and that. And I feel like she didn't say nothing because she was probably a bit strict as well. Like, so people could be like, what's this guy doing? Like, just harassing random women. No, I hear people. that. I hear that, but it's like, I'm not cool. I do not hit girls, arguing with girls, say, all of that's bad. But I posted enough of two videos before that of me shooting guys. No one said nothing. Like, I do. Like, it's going to sound mad here, but I feel like, People are just sexist, man, just because it's a girl. But when it's a guy, everyone's laughing. But when but, it's a girl... Then again, I feel like mo most girls... This might be sexist with me, but I think most girls can't defend themselves. You get... Com the average girl can't really defend herself from the average man. You get it? So that's that's why... And plus, you, when you're shooting her, she like you guys will probably... There's probably more than one of you. So she's probably thinking, like, yo, like, what's this... You know what I mean? Yeah, after all my pranks, I do apologise and I let them know. I do ask if I could post it more time this year, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Cool, cool. But, yeah, with the backlash, man, like, what, what do you think about it? Like, like are you guys going to continue doing pranks or are you going to kind of switch up? What's the next step regarding this? The next step regarding the whole situation. I still want to do pranks, but I don't want to do pranks that are mad. Like, I'll just do pranks that, I don't know, like, I kind of want to start my own thing, if you know what I mean. Mm. I just want to do something on TikTok that only I do, and then people start doing it. Like, I don't want to keep doing dumb stuff on TikTok. Mm -mm. Well, what do you think about what do you think about Elon Musk and Tristan Tate commenting on the whole situation too? Tristan Tate, wow. Ch yeah, Tristan Tate, and it, it, he looks like he's trying to reach out to Mizzy, and obviously you could probably get into that as well. So, Tristan Tate commenting on it is a mad one. Because I didn't even know it was blowing up. Someone just told me, oh, the street blogs posted it, or the Shade Borough. So I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Like, it's not going fine. Then I see Elon Musk. That's when I got gassed. I can't lie. I'll be real. I got excited. I'll be so real. I got excited. But Tristan Tate, he made me realise, like, it's actually, like, anything could have happened. Because it's like, we should have got stabbed. That's when I realised, bro, I walked into some next man's crib. He could have stabbed me. That's when I deep the whole situation. Mm -mm. That's what I'm thinking. You've got to be careful out here, man, because you don't even know what people got going on behind them doors, man. Some people be doing some crazy shit. No cap. I know. But what? So what's the communications with Tristan? Has he reached out recently? I know he's reached out to Missy. He's talked to Missy saying that, oh, what is it? He wants to help Missy change, basically. He wants to help Missy and educate Missy about the stuff that we do, or something like that. That's good, bro. Like, literally, if if you can get, if Missy can get that opportunity and try getting there, and eventually you guys can keep growing up, leveling up, and whatnot, and get into that next level, get into that next step. Yeah. But cool. Why? Do, but now to on to Missy. Like, do you think he's a bad influence to you? Him and Skits. Do you think they're bad influences? Cause like, what have did you get arrested because of that video too? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no. But ha, have you been in certain videos with them? Has that gotten you arrested or bagged or anything? I've never been arrested for making a video with Missy. Never. Oh. I don't see them as a bad influence on me. Need for a car. It's up to me what I do. Like. But then again, well, how old are, how old are them? Do you? Uh, skits is twenty. Just turned 20 not that long ago. I say with Missy, Missy's 18. Cool. So some people might, from outside looking in, they might be like, yo, so these older, older guys are with this 16 year old and then cut, and they're basically getting them to do pranks and shit with, with him. And he's younger, so it's like, and you being younger, sometimes you want to impress people older than you and try to be, be on their level. So like, people might be like, yo, What's that situation about? Yeah, I know, but... I don't know, man. I don't feel like they're influencing me to do anything, Carl. I, I just don't think they are. 
Did your family end up uh, finding out about the, uh, the whole controversy and shit? Yeah, I can't lie. My mum found out first. It, obviously, I don't live with my mum, innit? I live with my nana. So my mum must have called me. She like, oh, you know I've got Instagram. That's, she just randomly said, you know I've got Instagram. So I'm like, yeah, mum, I know you got Instagram. She like, you know I go in the shade bar every morning to see what's going on. I was like, oh, that's when I realised she clocked, innit? She just showered at me saying, she basically cussed up Missy, cussed up my other friend, and then, yeah, she just told me not to do it again and that she's going to call police on me. Okay. That's what she said. Fair enough. Do you, do you think that was a, a fair reaction then from her side? Or? Yeah, kind of. Kind of? Kind of. What makes you say, say kind of? Because she started cussing out me, Missy, and my, and my friend. Because you've got to take it in from her perspective. Like, you're her son. Are you the only child or do you have siblings? From my mum's side, I've got a big sister. Only one big sister? Or is there Only any... on my mum's side, but on my oh. dad's side, I've got more siblings. So so on your on your mum's side, she's probably thinking, yeah, that's my my older son, that's my only son, and like he's out there being on the internet, doing all this shit, and then that kind of reflects on her as well. Yeah, that's so, what she said as well. Because people might... Because obviously you make your own decisions at the end of the day. She can do whatever her job is, and it still reflects on her. So, like, that might be embarrassing for her to see her son, only son do a, a mad thing, people commenting all over social media, millions of people probably commenting on the situation. So it's like, yo. No, I hear it, I hear it. It's just mad. It's just mad. But... Piers Morgan, Piers Morgan. What, what do you think about that, man? Why, do you, why did you guys let him go on there? Like, he should have had a script before you went on Piers Morgan. Yeah, I, mean, I quite like... I don't think Missy was ready for Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan is a different animal. Man. He is. Oh, like, You see Piers Morgan? It's just... I don't know. Like, he'll make sure he gets his point through before you can even chat, so it's a bit of a mad one. I don't know who let Missy go on Piers Morgan, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did you find out about, about Piers Morgan and Missy just coming together? And... Oh, did I find out? Yeah, how did that? Like... Oh, I was with Missy when he got the email saying that Piers Morgan wants to do an interview with him. It was supposed to be early morning. I don't know what Piers Morgan does, but it was supposed to be in the morning. But obviously, Missy got arrested, so they just changed it to a different day. That's how I found out. Okay, okay, that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. But it's another thing as well because this is one thing looking at the comments, saying comment sections, and I, I can't like this ain't. I'm not. This ain't really a blame on you, but it's like sometimes you gotta be careful when you do this shit because some people might see it. Obviously, you're, you what you do is what you do, and whatever consequences come from that should come only to you. But some people will be like, yo, a bunch of black kids going into this white. It's a white family's home and that, and that, you know, and put two and two together, some people will be like, yeah, we'll just bracket all black people under under that same umbrella. So I was like... You just asked me a question. <laughs> you fucked up, bro. <laughs> See, it's not really a question, it's more of like a oh, yeah. observation. Oh. No, I've, I've been seeing the comments. I've seen people saying, oh, you're just bringing the black people 20 years back. <laughs> You're making the black people look bad. They're talking about slavery and that. Yeah, they're just talking birds. But I feel like, yeah, obviously what I did was bad, yeah. But I feel like if it was a white, if it was white kids that done it, it wouldn't be that much of a problem. Do you think, I think it probably still, I would say... It would be a problem, but not as it, bad. It probably wouldn't be as blown out of proportion as it was. They probably would have just got dragged on the internet a little bit. But then again, I feel like with Mizzy, so he already had a profile before that whole situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that that's probably what played a big part in it as well, because people were, were still were, weren't fucking with Mizzy in that situation. So we we'll look at it that way. So it's a bit of both, I guess. But but how about this, how about this, do you think there's a lot of people who know only Mizzy? Some of others might know skits, but do you think people look at you as a sidekick to them, do you? No, no we, no we. Like, them comments are... They're just trying to violate. I quite like how 
A few people said that the one big YouTuber said that Memeless, he said that, that that's when everyone started saying it. But people that know me, people that know Missy, they'll know that I've been in many of Missy's videos before, so I'm not a sidekick. Mm -mm. I'm not a sidekick. Because, like, some people, was, from the outside looking at it's like, Missy's the one to get in the clout, getting, get, getting the numbers, probably getting a bit of money out from it, and you're just there. Like, you're just a face of the your face every now and again. Get it. Cool, but let's say, yeah, uh, I was there that day. Let's say Skits was there that day. He will be blown up the same way Missy's blown up because Skits is already known on TikTok, YouTube, Insta. I'm not known. I'm only known by, like, a few people, innit? Because I just started TikTok, so mm. I think that's why. Fair enough. What do you think about the whole meme situation, though? Because you mentioned that, so let's go, go into it. Like, what do you think about the whole situation, car? He was calling you a side chick. He was caught saying you're a side man. You see, Nimbus, nah. He actually got me annoyed. I can't lie. Like he actually got me angry. But he's begging for clout. I'll be real. He just wants clout. Uh, bro. He already has clout, bro. He already has clout, my boy. I can't lie. I don't think he needs more clout, bro. No. The only reason I got angry for Nimbus and no one else here is because I used to watch Nimbus growing up, innit? So the seeing, the seeing that, I was like, bro. I was shocked. I was actually quite upset still. But yeah. But do you think that could meme this or kind of calling you out, kind of, what's it called? Or put you in check in a, in a sense and make you think that, yo, you know what, I kind of screwed up here. Let me get to the, let me switch up my whole branding. No, he did not make me think that. Oh. He just, like, when I, I just I just wanted to make more videos about it. I'll be real. I just wanted to make videos about meme -less. That's what I was thinking about. Fair enough, fair enough. What, so, do you think you can ever, like, be cool with him one day, with Mimulus? With I feel like now that he knows me, yeah, I feel like if I was to text him on Instagram on a content and be like, bro, what? Did... He did see your message. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, I, w I watched it, the response. He did see your message. Oh, yeah, that he message. He didn't reply, but he was just violating you, so. No, but if I was to text him on a cool thing, like, what I did was bad, I'm sorry for the message, like, he helped me out on my content. I feel like he'll probably be calm with me. Mm, Maybe. Potentially. But I get, you know, I think you just need to put in the work. Once you put in that work, eventually you'll be like, you know what? Yeah, let me fuck with him. Let me see what he's saying. But cool. Would you want to Would you wanna have a scrap with him, though? With Mimulus? What are you <laughs> saying there? What are you saying there? This is, um, Mimulus is big 24. Scrapping him would be a mad thing. But I'm not saying I want to scrap him, in I don't want, I don't want to scrap him. But if he was to, like, carry on making videos or text me, I will tell him, come scrap me. That would be so real. Mm -mm, fair enough, man, fair enough. How about this, like, what's that whole situation with J-Biz? J-Biz? J-Biz, I can't lie, J-Biz is a big man. He fell off. I don't know, he just, I don't know. I don't know what to say about J-Biz. Because to be fair, I don't really watch I don't really keep up with, like, these TikTokers. But, like, because I don't think he's doing it for clout because he already has the clout, isn't it? No, nah, he fell off. No, nah, he fell off he big fell time. Off? He fell off big time. Every, every time he posts, they always talk about how he fell off. He fell off. Do you think you could ever become, like, your own, or have your own identity, in a sense, of, like, people recognising, oh, yeah, that's C1, not recognising you as Mizzy's boy or what, yeah. or Skits' boy? I feel like if I keep... I keep doing my thing then, yeah. But I actually, I, I do want to change my name from C1 to something else, because I don't want people to be shouting C1, C1, so for now, I don't know. So obviously you're telling me you used to do a bit of music every now and again and whatnot. So what? Like, what type of music are you trying to drop if you decide to go back down the music route? Probably drill music. How come it's like drill music? Because drill music is the only music I really listen to, to be honest. And plus, I like the beats as well, so it's kind of easier. But don't you think Joe's kind of falling off, though? Yeah, Joe is falling off, but, like, if I build up my own audience, then I'll have people listening to my Joe music, so I don't really care if it's falling off. Because, bro, like, because with music, it's like, it comes in, it's, like, cyclical. Like, sometimes it might die off, then a certain sound might come back again, then... So yeah, I hear it, I hear it. You just, I don't know, man. 
I just want to be on my grand. That's what I know. What's your grand, bro? What's your grand? My grand. I'm trying to make some money, man. I'm trying to be a money, man. Mm. But obviously, I'm still young, innit? So, yeah. Mm. Fair, fair, fair. Like, because I feel like what you could do, if you can get more, more followers on that on TikTok and that, start streaming on Twitch, maybe do reactions and shit, you could be sweet. You could be sorted by then. I do yeah. that type of shit. I wanted to be a, a social media influencer, so what's growing up, innit? Oh, so that's. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. You're 16, so. 20, wait, hold on. <laughs> you were born in 2006, LA? Hey. Yeah, that's mad. Damn, I'm feeling old. <laughs> but. Shit, then. Damn, so when was. Wait, so you were 8 when Instagram was out? Yeah, yeah around 8, yeah. Hey. Yeah, that's um, mad. I had Instagram since I was like nine, ten. So what do, do you feel like? Because you know it comes to the common phrase that like, people die for clout. People die for clout. Like, don't you feel like all the social media and TikTok and people trying to be clouted and whatnot is kind of kind of affecting young people and that negatively? Because what, for example, now some people, for example, some people might see. Um, Tristan Tate re- reach out to Mizzy and be like, oh, you know, I, w- I want to I wanna get reached out by one of these guys, like Andrew Tate or something, or Tristan. Let me let me do a mad thing, record it, and hopefully I get one of them re- reach out to me. You get it? Hard. That's an example, you know what I mean? I doubt people are going to be like that, though. No, I'm, I'm sure, because, for example, I was reading some of the comments, and obviously bad people are now shouted Mizzy and that, they're trying to... Patent interviews, patent shows, or patent time with him. I, even, some people want to even give him opportunities to get to that next level. So some people, some people who who might just be like straight goers, normal, go on school, doing the the standard shit that's expected of them. They might be thinking, yo, so I'm spending all this time in school, doing this and that, and my man walks, my, my man drive, rides his bikes in fucking shops, smokes in shops. And runs up in a random person's house and gets clouted and gets DMs from all these blue tick celebrities, gets all this attention, probably making a bit of money from it too. They might think, yo, like, why can't I just do a mad thing and get some clout? You know what I mean? Yeah, quite like people are doing that. But there's, there's nothing no one could do, no one could stop that. Like, But don't, don't you think, like, like, the socials is kind of like killing our people. Oh yeah, sense. of course, of course it is definitely. Cause it like, is. Our, our people die for over clout, man. Pe- and even these days, man, I feel like to talk, to talk, to reach out to certain people, to reach out to certain people, or to do certain things, you need a, a, some level of like notoriety and whatnot. Because I'm sure there's probably certain interviews I could have, could never have patterned if I didn't interview certain other people prior to that you get it mm. or have it if I didn't build up to a certain level so it's like so being a young GC and everyone getting clout people your age getting clout making money from god knows what plus footballers doing their thing rappers and shit you're gonna think yo like why can't I just smoke spliffs in places and that why can't I ride bikes in places you get it so but Miss, Missy's enough a breed of mess. Men, Missy's a different breed of a menace. Like Missy's just a menace. Like if someone decides to follow him, then no offense, they're probably not right in their head. Quite, I know I will not smoke suits in places. <laughs> I'll be so real, right in the bats in places. But I quite like Missy did kind of like e- even with like even with some of those videos of him going into McDonald's. See, I don't think it's that deep, but just like. Or kind of just fucking up everyone's day. Some people, nine to five, people don't really fuck with their nine to five, their nine to fives, especially at fast food places. So they're thinking, bro, they're just trying to get their day done. And now they just see this random mute <laughs> with his fucking Santander pedal bike going around the kitchen in and out for like five minutes. You get it? And, and also, again, when it comes to that, that people copying you guys. For example, there's a video that Mima showed he must have been watching when he was talking about the Mizzy situation. About these little youths. They went into they went into McDonald's, circled, circled the place, then they went to the back room. You get it? So it's like, even shit, these men want clout. And it's like, 
don't you think it's a dangerous precedent for young for younger people to be like, yo? Basically, they might be seeing people get rewarded for doing the wrong thing, and they might think, yo, let me do that as well. No, I hear it. People are like that. Even I was like that. Because even you, like you met Missy through socials. You probably looked at Missy and said, "Yeah, that's my. I want. I want to be like that. <laughs> like, I want to be like Missy. I want to ride back, back some places and that." No, I can't. Like, I was. I was. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. I like, went to the back of McDonald's the next day. I think. See, that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> the, the the influence and that, and even though not all the attention is probably positive, you're probably thinking like, "Yo, like, yeah, I'm getting." Bear man are, are, are talking up my thing. People are on my dick about this vigil. So it's like... She do that shit, yeah. Shit, I forgot this. I forgot what it was, but... For me, uh, any type of interactions on my on my page, I don't care. As long as it's interaction, like, people hating, don't care. You're still interacting with my video, like, to get... People that show love, I appreciate them. I don't care to be honest. I'll be sure. Well, so don't you? Uh, because eventually, do you think like one day maybe? Let's say hope that like, hopefully you, you do get to the next level. You blow up in this social media team, become an influence and whatnot. But say, let's say things happen and down in life, and life happens in it, and you end up not doing that. Maybe now you're twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Maybe you finish uni or whatnot, and now you want to get a job, and people be like, "What? Are you see what see one bands or buy skits?" <laughs> Like, you get it? Yeah, no. Like, do you think it? Do you think in ten years' time you might look back and be like, "Yo, you know what? I kind of did fuck up. Like, I did kind of fuck up myself here. Kind of got myself self in a twist." Yeah, I probably think I will. I'm. De- I know I will. I'm gonna hundred percent regret. Cause digital footprint is a mad one. Mm-hmm. Like, if I apply for a job, they're gonna see. That's why I just need to stay on my grind, isn't it? Because say I do want to get a job, I want to go to uni, and they don't let me in. At least I've got the social media on the side, isn't it? Mm. Until I do pattern something. 100%, man. So I, I, can't lie, I hope you do pattern your, so, pattern your social media. I hope you do find good ideas. Make a YouTube channel too, Twitch, all of that. And then hopefully you can keep getting to that next level, to that next step. And then eventually, you won't have to worry about what <laughs> getting a job in 10 years, you get it? So, bitch. No, I'm going to start a YouTube real soon. So, real soon. when you do start your YouTube, what type of shit can we look forward to seeing? Cool. There's only two things I want to do. Pranks and maybe reactions. So I might do some reaction videos and pranks, literally. Okay. What type of pranks? So, my type of pranks are actually... Can I swear, yeah? Yeah, you can swear. Well, my pranks that I think of are fucked. Like, I just think of fuckery. Like, anything bad, I would see it as a prank. Like, taking someone's hat and running to get that. See, that. Bro, see this is what I'm saying, because I feel like sometimes you can't, because you, some, on the streets, you don't know what people are going through. Like, someone could have, like, heard some mad news, like their kid died or their mum died, and or all the people that they love and care about are dead. So maybe they lost their job, they lost everything, and you take their hat, and now it's a long day, they've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Bro, some bro, some people do not care about life, bro. Some people are menaces. You get so like you gotta be careful when it comes to that type of shit. Yeah, no. Uh, I I think you should do them pranks I see on TikTok where like, what was the one I saw? They had a teddy bear that was in that was on sale in the shop, and then they might have make it swear or something, swear or something, or say some mad racist shit. Like, if you could do something like that, that that's funny. That's funny. But that is just as bad. No, it's not, it's it is just. Bad. If they say something bad. racist, that is just as bad. I'll say race. It's like in, in terms of racist, I wouldn't say like overtly crazy racist, but I mean like just maybe the n word and that. Ah, uh, cool. But imagine someone's feeling insecure, yeah, about themselves or their skin or something. No, but no. This is, for example, you don't have to. Maybe like you have a teddy bear that says the n word or something. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> And and you go, you go to the to the white man and be like yo like to the white shop is this, be like oh like is this is this a toy working right and you press it and it says whatever it says oh you them get? type of pranks yeah yeah that's just mad work though that's... but bro that, that's how you can keep people engaged bro like 
And that's how you can keep the people on your side as well. Because I feel like... Um, because most of the time, I don't think you're making that much money from it currently, from no. the TikTok tip thing. No. So, like, that's how you can keep... Bro, that's how you can get to the next step, bro. Like, you get it. Keep leveling up. And then, you, and you probably have a bit of notoriety now, as it is. Yeah, as long as you keep pushing, keep working on it, consistency, you'll get there, man. Trust me. Yeah. Since I've walked into a house here, yeah, I've been getting, like, a thousand followers each week. So far, anyway. Mm-hmm. That's it. Not for two K and two weeks. What so what's your um what's your DM saying though? Like I can imagine there's a mad thing in there, bro. See my Instagram. Oh my days. I want people saying, Come, let's link up to fat. I'm gonna kill you. If you see me and hack me, make sure you run away. I just wanna get a bear death threats. But I also got people saying that you're gonna blow, you're gonna make it, I can see you doing your thing. I'm getting more love than hate, I'll be real. But yeah, man, I want to say again, thank you for coming down, my bro. We've done this quick. Like, when did I DM you? Like, Thursday, right? Like? Yeah, was it Thursday or I Friday? See, yeah, literally. Like, it was Friday. It was Thursday or Friday. Let me, let me. It was quite time. recent. It was very recent. Let's go. Hold on. It might, oh, you know, it might have even been Friday, you know. That Friday, it could have been Friday morning. Yeah, it was Friday morning still. <laughs> Friday morning. No, but honestly, I'm I'm still growing on TikTok in it. So when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I'm texting this guy straight away. Mm-hmm. But I honestly, at first, I was thinking he was trying to set me up, you know. <laughs> what's that? I was like, actually thinking this guy's going to fuck you up when he sees me. Then I, he was like, oh, you've interviewed Tanks. So I was like, like, I was trying to see if he was lying or not. Then I saw Tanks followed you. So I was like, cool. It's legit still. So I was like, yeah. See, But well, this is what you do at V Media, man. Like, Trust me, when that next level, hopefully, we can pattern up, bro. I can't lie. I do want to pattern skits. I do want to pattern fucking um, Mizzy. But hopefully, we can pattern that. But last two questions I got for you is, is pain an illusion? Pain is an illusion. How's it an illusion, it's my boy? It's just an illusion. How's it an illusion? It's... <laughs> bro, because pain is like is actually a necessity. Because, for example, say if you put your hand on a stove. When you pull away, that's your body showing that, like, yo, you shouldn't put your hand on that stove because it's too hot. That like, you'll fuck up your hand. You get it? So, like, pain is a necessity. It's not... Maybe mental pain could be an illusion, but not physical. Bro, just take your brain off the pain. Like, if you drop and you scrape your knee, just get up and don't think about it. Just keep walking. And you won't feel it. You know? That's why Skit says it's an illusion. Because when he punches walls... He just carry on like nothing happened, didn't it? Yeah, I can't lie. That guy is wild. Bro. <laughs> yeah. What's, bro, uh, yeah, fuck that shit, man. I ain't punching the wall. Bro. No, pain is an illusion. What, so do you punch walls in that? No. <laughs> 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 nah, I do not punch walls. But he's trained. He's trained to do it. What, do, does he do martial arts or something? Yeah, he does martial arts too. Bro, see, but why can't... Skip, he should mind so focus on, like, doing the influence of boxing. Do some fighting. Some he, probably will, he probably will. He probably will. Probably teach young, like people around my age to, march, do martial arts, something like that, self defense, something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, and the last question is: reality in the region? Yeah, reality is an illusion. Still, car. Oh no! I feel like yeah. It's reality and illusion. I don't know, you know. It depends how you see it, innit? Cause the way I think here, yeah, especially since I've been to those skits, the way I think here, yeah, I feel like bare people are NPCs these days. Like, I just feel like no one's real these days, I'll be so. All an illusion. Mm, fair enough. I did hear a, this, a statistic that I was saying that um, a decent, a, a, there's a decent amount of the population that doesn't really think their thoughts in a sense. I can't f- figure out the, the exact term, but you know, you know when you, for example, you might read something, but you read it in your head. Some people, some, apparently, some people don't actually have that. They Is don't, it? You, they don't have that inside voice. Okay. You get it. Oh, that's them. <laughs> that's just them. So, yeah. So th- that would technically make them an NPC type of shit card. They don't have that. That shit. You get it. Yeah, I hear it. 
I see people, no, nah, no, nah, NPC, yeah, in my opinion, they could just be someone that's, like, just, just takes everything too serious, if you know what I mean, like, you mean they the can't gig me, like, say that I make a, see, I can't think of any examples right now, trying to think. say I do something, let's just say I do something, can it? So like not that deep. Like walking into houses and that. No, no, not something, not something <laughs> wild, not something wild. Let, let's see. I'm faping on the train, yeah. Let's mm. say I'm faping on the train. Cool, I shouldn't be doing it. But I feel like I'm not affecting someone. They shouldn't really like get so pressed about it. So I just call them an NPC. No, I wouldn't call that an NPC though, because some NPC. people maybe they might have. They might have asthma or some shit, or maybe they don't. They want to stop smoking themselves, oh, yeah, and that nicotine's getting into them. Some people don't want to smell the vape, a strawberry fit vape flavored fucking air when they're on their way home. You get it. So it's like, I don't know. But like, nah, nah. I hear what you're trying to say, but like, I'm. I mean, like, people that all for react. Like once I was on the train vaping, no one's next to me. It's just me. Some women pressed the alarm on the train, oh. saying that someone's vaping. She stopped the whole train for like twenty minutes. Workers came. That's an NPC. She's doing too much. Okay, yeah, I'll say yeah. I'll that say is NPC way too much. To but someone's like, stop vaping. Or he, they can even shout at me. I wouldn't care. That's not an NPC. They have feelings, isn't it? This is the last question. I already From, know the question. You already know what it is. I feel like I do. Say the question. So, you chilling with Mizzy? You probably know about this more. What does we, we outside, outside mean? <laughs> yeah. We outside. What does that, what does that entail? No, it just means we outside, doesn't it? Like anyone can say it. you can say we outside. It depends. If you're outside, you're outside, isn't it? Mm. We outside. But what is there like a backstory to it? Like the, what is there like a deeper meaning behind we outside? Cool. I can't answer this yet, but I'm not hundred percent sure. I'm gonna say what I heard, didn't it? We outside is something that Missy and do you know Young Sahib? No, no, no. One of Missy's boys, them two just said that one day we outside in the districts. So each time they were doing a prank or something, they'll be like, we outside in the districts every time, something like that. And then everyone started saying it, literally everyone that watched Missy and them started saying it. So yeah, it's just, it just means we outside. Literally, that's what it means. We outside. We outside. We outside. <laughs> like right now, we're outside. Do you get? We're, we're outside, yeah, isn't it? Te- yeah, technically, we're outside. We're outside. So. We're outside. Mm-mm. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. But my boy, cheers for coming down, man. Come on, come on, come on, man. But any cl- closing messages you want to say? Anything you want to say at the end? You want to say your own piece? I just want to say, yeah. Uh... No, I can't say this. No, I don't have anything to say still. I just want. I don't know, I don't have anything to say. I'll be real. It's just. Nothing to say. We outside. <laughs> we outside, <laughs> innit? We outside every time. <laughs>